Hello and welcome to another snowy day here in the village in Chidarchini in northwest Bosnia and Herzegovina. Um, I was going back through some archive videos that I made some time ago and I found one which I think you might be interested in, especially even if you live in the Balkans, that you live in a city. We have a tree here called the Mushmula. Did I pronounce that right? Anyway, here's my video that I made in the days before the beard and I hope you enjoy it very much indeed. Let me know. Talk today about something that is um, something new to me really even though I've been here all these years and I've been up here in the garden so so many times I can't count it. There's a tree here which has a fruit on it that uh, comes out I think late summer and then has always seemed to be rotting away uh, on the tree and then Tam's dad comes along and he picks these see they look rather weird uh, and this one is very gooey I don't know if, if I can show you actually I'll get as close as I can it's very gooey it's almost like rotten and it has can you see this has this bit of a looks like a pulp actually I'm going to try it for the first time I've never tasted this before in my life so here we go Mm. It has some big stones in it, but it tastes like apple mousse. That's what's left, and uh, I've thrown away the husk. In the local language here, this tree is called a mushmula. I hope I pronounced that right. If anybody's watching from the Western Balkans or in the diaspora anyway, I'm sure you're going to leave a comment uh, and tell me that I pronounced it wrong. Mushmala. But we have this tree here, this medlar tree. As I say, over all the years I've been here, uh, I've seen the medlars fall um, and then the medlars being picked, as I say, by Tam's father. By the way, to eat these, you have to wait until they're bletted. Uh, and bletted is like a word. Mm, these are really tasty is a word I suppose that means that it's nearly rotting. You can't eat them um, when they're fresh, so you have to take them off uh, and then let them blet, B-L-E-T, or you can leave them on the tree until they're bletted. We've got a bucket of bletted mushmula uh, of these medlars and we're going to try and make something out of them. We don't know what it's going to be yet. Is it going to be jelly? Is it going to be jam? Or can we go through the process of turning it into juice? But that will be the subject for another video. But I thought I'd show you, even on these cold days that we're getting now, the medlar, the mushmula. Yeah, really interesting. I'm going to try and I'm going to squeeze another bit out. Mm. These are so tasty. Do you know, if I squeeze some of these out and put them in a jar, I don't think they'd last very long. They're just really rot. This would be nice on bread. I like bread and butter. Typical Englishman. So that's me. Okay then, until next one. See you soon.